Meat Boy is back, and today we aren't playing with meat, and as much as Meat Boy loves playing with his meat, we're gonna make a meringue today. And classically, meringue is egg whites whipped with sugar. Sometimes they add cream of tartar to stabilize, and it's used in cookies, desserts, various baked goods. But at its core, meringue being composed of egg whites and sugar, you know, that can be carnivore if we just use egg whites and honey. And we're gonna add some other components here, uh, some salt and some vanilla powder to jazz it up a bit. So this meringue is going to be a high protein, light, uh, great for bodybuilding, tasty snack that you can have as a switch up for raw egg whites. And if you're not into the raw egg white thing, you know, you can throw this on a baking sheet and bake this into meringue cookies if you'd like to. The main thing to note here is that meringue can be used in a variety of recipes. You know, we did an eggnog recipe a couple months back where we put meringue in the eggnog. Uh, you could put meringue into pancakes to give them that light, fluffy texture. Meringue replaces baking soda in recipes, and you don't want to use baking soda or baking powder because it's a processed chemical. It typically has aluminum added. So not only is this meringue going to be like a light, tasty, high-protein dessert recipe, you can also use it as a textural component in other recipes. So let me show you guys how easy this is. One great thing about this is a lot of recipes like custard, ice cream, use up a lot of egg yolks. So this is you know, a great way to get rid of those extra egg whites. Uh, so this is just about seven to eight organic egg whites that I have left over. We're gonna put these in a mixing bowl. And you could do this by hand with a whisk, but it's very strenuous and you'd probably burn more calories than is contained in this meal. This is just salt. Use any high quality sea salt. We probably shouldn't be using, you know, such bougie salt in a meringue, but a little pinch of salt. And that salt will melt in there as this whips up. Uh, we could put the vanilla powder in now. Just a little pinch of vanilla powder. The only important thing here is that there's no egg yolks in the egg white mixture because if there's fat, it will prevent it from whipping up. It'll weigh it down. Uh, here I just have some organic honey. Um, get some raw stuff, local stuff, much better. Uh, we're gonna drizzle this in as this whips up. So very simply turn this on. All you really have to do here is put it on the max setting and wait a few minutes. So if you're doing this by hand, you would just whisk it as hard as you could, as long as you could. So after about 30 seconds, it's already whipping up really nice. I'm gonna drizzle in about half a cup of honey. So we're looking really good. I just wanna scrape the honey down off the side so we don't waste any. You guys can see, really nice. Pretty much at stiff peaks. We're just gonna incorporate a little more honey. And by all means, you could do this recipe with no honey, just a tablespoon of honey. You could use stevia, you know, art various artificial sweeteners, monk fruit, and it'll still turn out great. You know, this is just what I like. And adding a lot of honey, you know, we pretty much used maybe eight ounces, is the traditional, really sweet, conventional recipe that most American palates are used to. And the reason you add so much sugar is not only for flavor, but it's what gives it the stability. This meringue is really stable. Yeah, you could whip this up with a tablespoon of stevia, but it's not gonna stay this stable. You know, if you put this in the fridge, this might actually hold up overnight to some degree. But if it was just made with a tablespoon of stevia and you put it in the fridge overnight, it's probably just gonna turn into a pile of watery egg whites. There's probably a reason that the meringue recipe called for three egg whites, because now I have enough meringue to feed an army. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, that is way too much honey. Oh man. Yeah, I have to add this to something. Although it's still really good. Yeah. If you give this to a kid, they'll love this. If your kids like eating icing and stuff, this is like the healthy alternative to icing. Way too sweet. Way too sweet. Too much honey. So that's the meringue, guys. Use as much honey. Use as much sweetener as you would like. Again, a great way to use up egg whites, whether you want a high protein snack, something approachable for your kids, or to incorporate it into pancakes. You know, this would be, again, great to fold into a pancake batter to make it really light, 
and airy and healthier. You know, it's a high protein component and it's, you know, if you're making pancakes with wheat flour and unhealthy ingredients, it's gonna alleviate some of that to some degree. So I'll put this in the fridge. It holds up okay. Might be a little watery at the bottom, but again, that depends on how much sweetener you use to stabilize it. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, definitely drop me a comment down below, leave a like on the video, make sure that notification bell is checked. If you guys would like to support me, there's a bunch of ways to do so down in the description below. Go to frank sign up for your free carnivore diet meal plan, get my book, check out the carnivore diet video course. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know if you guys would like to see any recipes for next week. Have a good night. Oh, we're gonna do live stream on Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Frank Tufano.